Welcome back to St. Louis 11 News at 7. It is the last week of the legislative session in Jefferson City. And for the past 27 hours, Democrats have been holding the floor in the Senate. Our Missouri Chief Capitol Bureau reporter Emily Manley explains it's to block legislation, changing the initiative petition process from coming to a vote. With the clock ticking to the Friday deadline, Democrats say they're prepared to filibuster the entire week if they need to. They're waiting on the so-called ballot candy to be removed from the legislation. Then they say they'll sit down. But Republicans say no. Governor Mike Parson saying that this overall situation is ridiculous. People delayed this process till the end of the session and just caused a lot of chaos this year. This should have been done early on because it should have been a top priority for everyone. It's been a Republican priority for years, increasing the number of votes needed to approve a constitutional amendment. This has been debated all session, and I think that there is a hope that we're able to find a resolution to move forward so that the rest of session is able to operate. Since the bill came up for debate Monday afternoon, Senate Democrats have used the time to filibuster, preventing the legislation from coming to a vote. I hear the sponsors say that, you know, hopefully we can work towards a resolution. I felt like we did that once already. The Senate passed similar legislation earlier this year, but the House sent back what opponents call ballot candy to trick voters who have the final say in this legislation. By starting off the question on the ballot, asking if only U.S. citizens are allowed to vote on constitutional amendments. Please. I don't think I'm going to change anyone's mind on this issue at this point. I think, um, you know, in order for us to move forward on, on other important business, the ballot candy has to come out. In an exclusive interview with Parson, he says it's already illegal for non-citizens to vote in Missouri. Years ago, Parson says he carried the legislation himself in the Senate and blames election year tactics as to why it's still not passed. But I'll be honest with you, IP should have been done in January and February. It's ridiculous to have this happening at the end of the session. Currently, to approve a referendum, it takes a simple majority. More votes for than against. This legislation would require a simple majority statewide and also a majority in five of the eight congressional districts. Because the underlying issue, which is basically undoing one person, one vote. Debate on this legislation comes as some groups are trying to use the initiative petition process later this year to ask voters if sports betting should be legalized and to overturn the state's abortion ban. Under the Constitution, lawmakers must adjourn by 6 p.m. on Friday, and Democrats say they are prepared to filibuster until the clock runs out. Reporting from the Capitol Bureau, I'm Emily Manley.